child we tend to thee. Precious Lord, I ask for mercy. Let me not implore in vain. All my sins I now detest them. Never will I sin again. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. The spirit of Lent invites us to recall our sins and feelings and moves us to be sorry for them. Our sorrow over our dark past, however, should lead not to pessimism but to hope because we have been gifted with the immeasurable riches of God's grace. We have come to the light and are called to bring Christ's light to the world. Brothers and sisters, let us make ourselves worthy to celebrate these sacred mysteries as we call to mind all our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. Have mercy on us, Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who through your word reconciled the human race to yourself in a wonderful way, grant we pray that with prompt devotion and eager faith, the Christian people may hasten toward the solemn celebrations to come. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second book of Chronicles. In those days, all the princes of Judah, the priests, and the people added infidelity to infidelity, practicing all the abominations of the nations and polluting the Lord's temple, which he had consecrated in Jerusalem. Early and often did the Lord of God of their fathers sent his messengers to them, for he had compassion on his people and his dwelling place. But they mocked the messengers of God, despised his warnings, and scoffed at his prophets, until the anger of the Lord against his people was so inflamed that there was no remedy. Their enemies burnt the house of God, tore down the walls of Jerusalem, set all its palaces of fire, and destroyed all its precious objects. Those who escaped the sword were carried captive to Babylon, where they became servants of the king of the Chaldeans and his sons, until the kingdom of the Persians came to power. All this was to fulfill the word of the Lord spoken by Jeremiah. Until the land has achieved its lost Sabbaths, during all the time it lies waste, it shall have rest while seventy years are fulfilled. In the first year of Cyrus, king of Persia, in order to fulfill the word of the Lord spoken by Jeremiah, the Lord inspired King Cyrus of Persia to issue this proclamation throughout his kingdom, both by word of mouth and in writing. Thus says Cyrus, king of Persia, All the kingdoms of the earth, the Lord, the God of heaven, has given to me, and he has also charged me to build him a house in Jerusalem, which is in Judah. Whoever, therefore, among you belongs to any part of his people, let him go up, 
and may his God be with him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let my tongue be silenced if I ever forget you. Let my tongue be silenced if I ever forget you. By the streams of Babylon, we sat and wept when we remembered Zion. On the aspens of that land, we hung up our harps. Let my tongue be silenced if I ever forget you. For there, our captors asked of us the lyrics of our songs, and our despoilers urged us to be joyous. Sing for us the songs of Zion. Let my tongue be silenced if I ever forget you. How could we sing a song of the Lord in a foreign land? If I forget you, Jerusalem, may my right hand be forgotten. Let my tongue be silenced if I ever forget you. May my tongue cleave to my palate if I remember you not. If I place not Jerusalem ahead of my joy. Let my tongue be silenced if I ever forget you. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, God, who is rich in mercy because of the great love he had for us, even when we were dead in our transgressions, brought us to life with Christ. By grace, you have been saved. Brace us up with them and seated us with them in the heavens in Christ Jesus, that in the ages to come, he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. For by grace, you have been saved through faith. And this is not from you. It is the gift of God. It is not from works, so no one may boast. For we are his handiwork, created in Christ Jesus for the good works that God has prepared in advance, that we should live in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. God so loved the world that he gave his only son, so everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to Nicodemus, Just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. And this is the judgment, that the light came into the world, but people preferred darkness to light because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light and does not come toward the light, so that his works might not be expected or exposed. But whoever leaves the truth comes to the light so that his works may be clearly seen as done in God. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. 
Muli magandang araw po sa inyo lahat mga kapatid at uh, kayo malugod naming uh, tinatanggap dito sa Dambana ng mahal na ina ng uh, manawag ang ating Apo Bakit. Nung tayo mga bata pa, takot tayo sa dilim. Alam natin yon normal sa mga bata at sa atin na makaranas na matakot sa dilim sapagkat maraming dahilan. Una ay uh, sa kawat sa dilim, sinasabi o oh, iniisip natin mayroong multo. Mayroong mumo doon sa, sa dilim. O kaya tinatakot tayo ng ating mga magulang o ng ating mga kaibigan o mga nakakatanda sa atin na mayroong multo sa dilim. O di kaya naman ay sapagkat ang dilim ay nakakatakot dahil hindi natin alam kung anong naroon. Pwede tayo ma-aksidente, pwede tayo mabunggo, pwede tayo mahulog sa kung anong butas na meron doon sapagkat sa dilim wala tayong nakikita. Kaya... Hindi lamang dahil may multo sa dilim, sapagkat dahil sa dilim ay wala tayong makikita, nakakatakot ang dilim. Nung tayo mga bata pa, subalit sa ating pagtanda, naging iba ang takbo ng ating pag-iisip. Iba ang ating pananaw sa buhay at sa mundo. Sa katotohanan, mas marami sa atin ngayon ay mas gusto na sa dilim. Mas takot tayo sa liwanag, mas uh, malapit na tayo. O mas gugustuhin pa natin ang nasa dilim tayo. Sapagat sa dilim, no, na-realize natin na matanda na tayo, ay doon natin magagawa ang mga bagay na hindi makikita ng iba. Mga bagay na tayo lang makakaalam. Mga sikretong tayo lang ang uh, nakakaalam. Mga bagay na kubli o nakakubli sa ibang tao. Kaya nga kapag ka hindi tama at hindi maganda ang ginagawa natin, ginagawa natin sa dilim at hanggat maari ay manatili tayo sa dilim upang manatili rin nating ikubli kung ano man ang pagkakamali, kung ano man ang hindi maganda, kung ano man ang nais natin itago tungkol sa ating mga sarili o tungkol sa ating pagkatao. At uh, nabaliktad na nga ang ating pananaw, takot na tayong lumapit sa liwanag sapagkat sa liwanag, ay doon masisilayan lahat, doon makikita ang tunay na pagkatao, ang ating kalooban, ang tunay na mukha no, ng ating pagkatao. Sapagkat sa liwanag o ang liwanag ay sumisilay at uh, uh, nagpapakita kung ano ang katotohanan. Kaya ito ang uh, binasang ibanghelyo natin sa araw na ito tungkol sa liwanag at sa kadiliman. Na ang paghuhusga ay ang pagdating ng liwanag. Sapagkat sa liwanag, doon makikita ang lahat. Kung ano man tayo, kung ano ang totoong pagkatao natin at kung sino tayo, kung anong sikreto o kung ano man no, ang merong tinatago tayo. Sapagkat ang liwanag ay siyang magbibigay ng uh, paglilinaw sa lahat-lahat. Kaya ito ang tinatawag na paghuhusga. At... Uh, kapag ka pinag-usapan natin ang paghusga or the judgment or the verdict, nakakatakot. Sapagkat alam natin meron tayong tinatago. Sapagkat alam natin na merong maibubunyag tungkol sa atin. Lalong-lalo na kung paghusgang ito ay ang paghusga ng Panginoon. Sapagkat alam natin na wala tayong maitago sa mata at sa harap ng Diyos. Subalit may napakagandang salita ang Diyos na iniwan sa atin sa araw na ito. At uh, ito yung pinakabuod no, o pinaka-esensya, no, pinaka-substance no, ng Ibanghelyong binasa natin sa araw na ito. Mahal na mahal tayo ng Diyos. God so loved the world. And what a beautiful statement coming from God Himself. At hindi nagtapos doon ang kanyang pahayag, sinapi pa niya. At dahil sa pagmamahal na yan, no, ay kanyang ipinadala ang kanyang sariling anak that He gave His only begotten Son not to condemn. Remember, there is judgment, but there will be no condemnation not to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved. So that is actually the, the, the principle or the inspiration that we have to hold on to. Huwag tayong mag-focus doon sa kasalanan natin. Huwag tayong mag-focus doon sa pagkakamali natin. So mga maiitim o Uh, sabi nga, maitim na sikreto natin o our dark secrets. Because in every sin that we commit, there is forgiveness coming from God. And above forgiveness coming from God, there is this great love coming from God. 
God so loved the world that even He has to send, to send His only begotten Son so that the world might be saved. So ano ang mensahe ng Diyos sa atin sa araw na ito? Do not be afraid. Huwag kayong matakot sa liwanag. Sapagat ang liwanag o ay magpapakita kung sino ka ang iyong tunay na pagkatao. Subalit, ang liwanag ay hindi maghuhusga sa iyo. Sapagat ang maghuhusga sa iyo ay ang pag-ibig ng Diyos. Isa lang ang hinihingi ng Diyos sa atin. Magtiwala. That whoever believes in Him will not perish but will have eternal life. So yun lang. Yun lang hinihingi ng Diyos sa atin. Maniwala, manalig, at magtiwala sa kanyang pagmamahal. Sapagat siya ang Diyos na maawain. Siya ang Diyos na papagmahal. Siya ang Diyos na mapagpatawad. Alam natin yon sa ating mga puso. Kaya nga kahit na tayo nagkamali, kahit tayo nagkasala, tayo humihingi ng tawad. At alam natin no, na ang Diyos ay hindi mahirap magpatawad. Kung ating kapwa o ay pahirapan no, sa pagpapatawad, no, yung mga taong nagkasala tayo ay hirap na hirap na patawarin tayo, ang Diyos ay hindi. Napakadali para sa Diyos ang magpatawad. Kaya nga, sabi niya, sa pagdating ng panahon o araw ng paghusga, hindi ang kasalanan niyo ang bibilangin ko. What will make you enter the kingdom of God are the good things that you did while you live in the world. What will make you enter damnation is not your sin. It's not the sin that you commit, but actually the good things that you did not do when you had the chance to do it. So, hindi binibilang ng Diyos ang kasalanan. Ang tinitinan ng Diyos ay yung mabuting gawa. Mabuting gawa na ginawa natin lalong-lalo na doon sa mga nangangailangan at doon sa mga pagkakataon na meron tayong kakayanan at pagkakataon na gawin ito. And these little good things will give you the key to the kingdom of God. But if you did not do it to the least ones, especially when they are there who ask for it from you and you have the capacity to do it and you have the chance to do it and you did not do it, Then the Lord say, I will also deny you. Because whoever you deny no, in this world, no, if you deny your brethren no, of love and good works in this world, I will also deny you in my kingdom. So Jesus does not talk about sin, but he talks about what have we done or the good things that we have done in this life. And only if we have faith in God, if we have faith in Jesus, no, that we will be courageous enough not to say, yes, I will go into the light. Never mind the exposure. I am not afraid to be exposed because God, after all, will love me no matter how I look, no matter how ugly I may be in the eyes of other people. I will always be good. I will always be beautiful in the eyes of God because the eyes of God looks at me with love, with mercy, and with forgiveness. So do not think of God no, as a punishing God. God loves us so much. He gave us His only begotten Son. All we have to do is believe so that we will have eternal life. Let us all stand. Let us profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived with the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. Descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. From there he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, 
the Holy Catholic, Catholic Church, Church, the, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the, sins, the resurrection, resurrection of, the of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. The cross of Jesus reminds us not only of our sinfulness, but also of God's infinite love and mercy. With full confidence, we acknowledge our weakness as we say, Merciful Lord, listen to your people. Merciful Lord, listen to your people. May the church remain a living sign of God's love and mercy in times of darkness and despair. We pray. Merciful Lord, listen to your people. May our government and civil leaders strive to live by God's truth and walk in God's light, forsaking the culture of death and corruption. We pray. Merciful Lord, listen to your people. May we become more aware to sin, not only the offense God, but also wounds us and our community. May we have frequent recourse through the sacrament of penance that reconciles us to God and to one another. We pray. Merciful Lord, listen to your people. May the Lord wash away our hatred, banish violence and terrorism from our midst, and restore tranquility and justice. We pray. Merciful Lord, listen to your people. May the sick, the elderly, and the suffering realize from our care and attention that they are loved by God. We pray. Merciful Lord, listen to your people. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, we pray. Merciful Lord, listen to your people. For those who had left the order, and for the Dominican family and the family of our brothers, we pray. Merciful Lord, listen to your people. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, and for our personal intentions and for the urgent concerns of our community. We pray. Merciful Lord, listen to your people. Heavenly Father, make us witness to the spirit of the cross by becoming beacons of peace and hope for our brothers and sisters. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. We place before you with joy these offerings which bring eternal remedy, O Lord, praying that we may both faithfully reveal them 
and present them to you as is fitting for the salvation of all the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. By the mystery of the Incarnation, He has led the human race that walked in darkness into the regions of the faith and has brought those born in slavery to ancient sin through the waters of regeneration to make them your adopted children. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration as we, with all the host of angels, cry out and without end acclaim. Kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, a fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For well, this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her beloved spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life 
and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please stand. Full of love and faith, let us pray to God our Father in the words our Savior taught us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope on the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us give each other the sign of peace. Peace with you. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world, have mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us everlasting life. Amen.
please stand. Let us pray. O God, who enlightened everyone who comes into this world, illuminate our hearts, we pray, with the splendor of your grace, that we may always ponder what is worthy and pleasing to your majesty, and love you in all sincerity, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us offer Oracio Imperata for the Archdiocese of Lingay in the Gupan. Let us turn to St. Joseph who brings comfort to the afflicted and consolation for the sick to help us in our needs. And so we all say together, St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Joseph, you saved the Savior from death in the hands of Herod. Save the world from the death of COVID-19, we pray. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Joseph, you suffered to see the child and his mother born in poverty in a manger. Stay with us as we endure our crosses of hunger, joblessness, and sickness due to COVID-19, we pray. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Joseph, you heard the prophetic words of Simeon to Mary, that her heart would be pierced by the sword. Beg God to bless our efforts to end the pandemic through the vaccination program and observance of health protocols, we pray. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Joseph, you suffered protecting the child and his mother in exile in Egypt. Protect and shield from harm those who care for our brethren who are sick and dying, we pray. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Joseph, you were anxious when the child was lost for three days in the temple. Turn our COVID-19 fears, anxieties, and depression into hope, joy, and peace, we pray. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Joseph, come to our aid in these times of anguish and anxiety. Take us under your protection and care as we place our trust in you, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. The Summer Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on April 21, 2021. Novena Masses will begin on April 12, until April 20, 2021. The schedule of Masses will be at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and 4.30 p.m., and will be streamed live through the social platforms of the Minor Basilica and via Manawag Dominican Radio 102. Point seven FM. We cordially invite you to participate in the feast and the novena masses. If you wish to sponsor one or several masses during this feast and our novena, you may approach our basilica personnel in the religious stores and mass intention counters. Thank you. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, thank you so much for joining us in the celebration of the Eucharist here at the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. May you have a meaningful pilgrimage and please have a safe trip back home. And for our brothers and sisters joining us by a live stream, we also thank you for being with us. We continue to pray for one another. And now please bow your heads and receive God's blessing. Look upon those who call to you, O Lord, and sustain the weak. Give life by your unfailing light to those who walk in the shadow of death. And bring those rescued by your mercy from every evil to reach the highest good. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Now we shall have the prayer for the blessing and the healing of our sick brothers and sisters. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. 
Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all sickness and restore them to good health. To the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now we shall have the blessing of your religious articles. Kung meron po kayo mga religious articles, pakilabas lang po ninyo. At bababa po kami dyan, pupunta kami sa inyo para basbasan ang inyong mga religious articles. Huwag na po kayong umalis sa inyong kinaroroonan para maiwasan po natin ang pagdikit-dikit at uh, maiwasan din natin ang, ang uh, uh, pagkahawa o maimintay natin ang ating kaligtasan. Let us pray. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. May the rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles, and those who will use them be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.